I am recording this video to help all the photographers out there when trying to transfer your files. I've been utilizing FileZilla for quite some time now and it's worked incredibly well for me. And uh, as we bring more photographers in, I'm seeing more and more uh, mistakes that are being made. So I decided to show you how to download the correct version of FileZilla as well as um, any pitfalls that I might have experienced. So the first thing I am going to do is open up my browser and type in FileZilla. And that is going to take you to the Google screen here and it's going to show FileZilla. Click on that and it will take you to the main FileZilla page where you'll have two download options. The first option is FileZilla client. The second option is FileZilla server. Do not download FileZilla server. Put a big X on that. Do not download that. Download FileZilla client. And then you click download client and you download pretty much the, the original, this one here. FileZilla, so you go download and click download and the files will begin downloading. <laughs> Looks like it's done. So I will open up FileZilla client and we will agree to the terms. We just kind of cycle through here, standard terms, but we need FileZilla client. So we have to agree. Take a brief moment, brief moment. What is this? Reinstallation, save browser. No, this is one thing you don't want. So we'll decline that. Upgrade FileZilla using previous settings. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll start FileZilla. Click OK. Now, over here, you'll see host, username, password, and port. So you type in your host. Username and password and hit enter or quick connect and it will retrieve the data and you can see everything is successful here. We have all of our events on this side that are here and ready to go for us. So that's the video on how to utilize FileZilla. First and foremost is you have to download FileZilla client. Do not download anything other than the client. Don't do the server. Uh, don't do, I believe there's another version. I can't remember the name of it, but don't do that. Download FileZilla client. And then from there, you have to type in your host name, your username, and your password. Uh, you can leave port open, and it will default to um, the standard port for you. So any questions, definitely let me know. I'm Damon with Complete, and thank you for rocking with me one more time.